everybody back with another video today we're gonna fix the shop heater I've got an American Harvest uh, pellet stove and the inducer assembly rusted and just just fell apart so we're gonna have to fix it um, I want to get out here and clean the shop and work on the Jeep some more, but it's just too cold, and so we have to fix the heater. Here's the inducer motor, and what happened here just fell apart and disintegrated. So when I fired it up a week or two ago, uh, it started to I could just smell it. So I pulled it all apart, find out what's going on, and it's in rough shape. So what I'm going to do, uh, first off, I, I got online. I tried to see if I could find a whole assembly. Um, it's like 200, 250 bucks plus shipping, and I can't get it for like two weeks. So the motor's okay. The bearings seem a little bit tight, but it's still working. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fab up a new housing and get the thing up and running. So what I'm going to attempt to do is use this. It's a little bit different shape, style. But at least I've got the majority of the sheet metal here, and I won't have to uh, do so much fab work. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to take you along on this whole build. So if, if I didn't have this, you know, this housing, this sheet metal, I could just make it out of something like this. I lay that on there, trace it out, and cut it, cut the center hole, do the same thing with two of those sheets, front and back and uh, do it like that but with this I might be able to save some time so that's what I'm going to do so let me get set up and uh, we'll come back to it the first thing I'm going to have to do is take this motor out and take this thing all apart okay well they tried to get fancy on us here and uh, put a Torx or star bit in there so Allen wrench isn't going to work so what I'm going to do I'm gonna just going to use that ring I took off which is about the same size as the idea of that so I'm going to use this as a template I might have to trim it a little bit but I'm going to set this here kind of get equal spacing from the outer edge in all the way around and have a it'll be gradually uh, increase in size there and I'm going to mark this out Cause I got to cut this out anyway. This is where that, it's where that uh, motor is going to mount. All right, close enough. I'm going to have to take this off so I can gain access to it. But then I'm going to take the plasma cutter and just cut that out. The whole assembly will drop right down through the bottom. The motor is, OD is smaller than the ID of that in the sheet metal. So we'll get this off, cut the hole, drop it out, and then we'll have something to work with. Be right back.
fit up. And first thing I know I'm gonna have to do is trim a little bit right here. And then we're gonna have to see let's check something I didn't check to begin with. This is uh, basically four inches, three and seven eighths OD. Let's see what this is. That's four and an eighth ID. So that'll work. I can put that together and I can put some RTV high temperature silicone in there and a little rope gasket material. I think that's what we'll do. All right. <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find something that will space this just right. We're looking for an inch and a half. Uh, I think it's an inch and a half OD here. I kind of need to find something that is. Maybe a couple of sockets. Something like that. Lay that flat. Stick that there. right there okay so I'm gonna fit this all up and then I'll come back okay so I'm getting these clamps put on here uh, designed to hold uh, two panels of sheet metal together and I'm gonna use these uh, here to Hold everything together. It's going to hold a gap for me all the way around. could go on the bloopers list but I'm not going to put it there. We'll just start over. On the blooper over there. There's that. I'm going to hit them corners real quick. Just buzz them down a little bit.
Okay. It gives us a pretty good gap all the way around. Right here, I'm gonna open this one up a little bit. <coughs> okay. Let's see what our height is. Inch and three eighths. Inch and three eighths. Back there is an inch and three eighths. Little skinny there, it's about an inch and a quarter. So let's open this up a little bit. Okay, so we're an inch and three eighths all the way around. Now inch and three-eighths is fine because the height of these blades is only an inch and an eighth. Try to check the tallest one right about there. Inch and a quarter. So we're going to be an eighth of an inch off the bottom plate. Okay, so the other thing I did off camera was I ground all of the uh, tack welds off of this plate, which is our mounting plate. And that is, that's the back of the stove. So this mounting plate goes on the bottom here, okay? That's a little bigger than the old one. So I'm going to have to move this. Let's see. I'm going to move that out like so. So that's where the hole's at, okay? One, two, three anchor points which would be towards the back and then what I'll have to do is weld on a couple of extra tabs and just make some new First, I've got to weld this back together. Check our height again. It's a little. Might be a little hard to bridge that gap, but I'm sure we can get her. All right, so fire up the TIG. Okay, I've got it tacked up. And it appears that my welder might not go low enough to, uh, to weld this effectively, uh, this sheet metal this thin. So uh, I'm going to take all these little brackets off and I'm going to try it. Now if it doesn't work, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the old, the old piece lay it over the top and I will tack it all the way around one side and then I'll take the torch and cut it off so I will weld over the top of this. There's a lot more meat here than there is just here. So we'll give it a shot. Alright, well we're back. Day two. Working on the uh uh, shop heater so there we go get rid of this here sorry about that come on work with me there we go all right so um, pretty much got the housing done I have a little bit left to do I think I left off right there I need to do that little bit and this little bit right there everything else was welded up pretty good 
not going to worry about how it looks because it's just a shop heater. I did try some stainless steel wire. And then the rest of this is 70 RS2 or RS70, I don't know, something like that. Um, Alright, so now what I have to do is get the blower on the, which goes like that and these were uh, these were stubs sticking upward so what I'm gonna have to do is grind all these off and then get them on there so I'm gonna work on that I'll be back okay so um, I kinda missed a bunch in between there I was trying to get this thing done but there it is got it installed and like I said, it was bigger than the original, so I just made a couple of custom brackets to hold it down and RTV siliconed the uh, seal, both where it meets the pipe and where it meets and mounts to the, to the base. Got it all back together, so all I got to do now is just <clears throat> cut this thing off and install this double wall T right there. And we'll be up and running. <laughs> 